Welcome back, K-drama fans. Today, we're diving into the first episode of Red Swan. We start with Owen Su, a dedicated goodwill ambassador, and the director of the NOW Foundation, speaking at the UN offices about her mission to help young people affected by war. Just after her presentation, Wan Su receives alarming news from her staff. ISIS has threatened her life due to her work with the Foundation. Despite the danger, Wan Su refuses to cancel her trip to the Philippines. Her resolve is unshaken, though she's less thrilled about her mother-in-law, Chairwoman Park, attending the event. Meanwhile, we meet Seo Dayun, who is secretly investigating the death of his close friend, Ju Hayuk. His investigation leads him to a hotel where he overhears a deal involving Ju Hayuk's assassin. Wan Su arrives in Manila and immediately dives into her work. Duyun, on the other hand, is on a mission to stop the assassin he believes is targeting someone in the Makati district. During an event, a sniper attacks, injuring Wan Su's bodyguard. Chaos erupts, and Duyun jumps into action, saving Wan Su from the assassin. Duyun and Wan Su manage to escape, but their car breaks down. They find a temporary safe haven at Duyun's place, where they regroup and plan their next move. Back in Manila, Wan Su stands up to her mother-in-law's manipulative demands, while Duyun accepts a job at H. Wayne Group to dig deeper into the mystery behind Ju Hayek's death. Wan Su bravely holds a press conference about the attack, despite opposition from her family. The episode ends with a surprising reunion at a party, where Wan Su meets her new bodyguard, Du Yun. That's a wrap on episode 1 of Red Swan. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more recaps and reviews. See you in the next episode.